Well, while we're at it, let's go ahead and see how many rounds it takes to kill a running lawnmower. That's a lot more than I thought it would take. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for watching. Today's video is quite a bit different. Uh, definitely a stretch for what we do here on the channel, but this is one that I've always been curious about. So today, we're going to see how tough our lawnmower blades. So we've all been mowing and hit stuff we're not supposed to, rocks, bricks, sticks, live ammo, that happens quite a bit out here actually. So these lawnmower blades have to be built pretty tough to withstand some of those impacts when you run over stuff that you're not supposed to. So what I bought, uh, these are John Deere by the way, what's the saying? Nothing outruns a deer. Well, we'll see if a bullet does, but uh, these are the thickest ones that they had in the store. So this is a three pack of tractor blades, I believe. And you can see just how thick these lawnmower blades actually are. Like I said, the thickest ones that they had in the store. So we're gonna shoot these with different calibers and see how tough and how durable lawnmower blades actually are. Let's do it. All right, so I've got all three of them taped together. That's probably how we'll do it so that if it goes through one or two, we can see which one actually stopped it. First up, of course, starting with the 22 long rifle out of the Ruger 1022. Perfect shot. And you can see the 22 long rifle took the paint off and just barely scratched the surface. All right, next up, nine millimeter full metal jacket out of the Canik TP9 SFX. You can see I finally got this one finished. Got that new trigger in there and the flared magazine well. So we're definitely gonna do a second video on this now that it's complete. Let's see how good this trigger actually is. This will be my very first time shooting this new trigger. <laughs> that one hit it a little bit harder. All right, let's see what the nine millimeter did. Wow, so there's our impact from the nine millimeter right there, and it also just took the paint off and scratched the surface. There's not even a dent in that lawnmower blade. I definitely expected the nine millimeter to do more than that. These might be tougher than I thought. All right, since we're probably gonna start shooting these with some bigger guns, I went ahead and took them off the steel plate and set them up on a cinder block. Next up, we have the 40 Smith & Wesson. This is a Federal Hydroshock hollow point, I believe and we're shooting this one out of the Glock micro conversion kit with a Glock 23 in it. Let's see what the 40 does. And there is our 40 Smith & Wesson impact and once again, barely scratched the surface. 10 millimeter. Extreme Defender, shooting this one out of the Glock 20. These are some hard shots, y'all. It's a small little target to hit with a handgun. <laughs> Man, that 10 millimeter is loud. So let's see what our 10 millimeter did. Whoa, okay, so that looks completely different than the others that we shot. You can see, I think that Extreme Defender is not a lead bullet or it's, it's some kind of a different bullet. I'm not sure about that, but that is the first one that actually dented the lawnmower blade. Not much, just a tiny little dent, but definitely did more than the first three. Let's get out some rifles and see if we can get through this thing. All right, for our first rifle caliber, we have the 5.56 and we're shooting this one out of the Daniel Defense Mark 18. So I haven't looked at this yet. If you want to, put your guesses in the comments because although the 5.56 is a small little bullet, because it's going so fast, it actually does pretty well at getting through stuff sometimes. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Okay, so we hit it right there. You can see in the same spot or close to our 40. And man, that put a really good dent in that lawnmower blade, but I do not think that anything came out the other side. Let me cut this tape off. All right, so that is the front of our first one. And look at the back, the bulge that it put on that thing. And you can see it even dented the second one a little bit, but it did not 
come out the other side. Now, I kind of wonder if we just had one blade up there, if the 556 would rip straight through it because it looks like that second and third one being behind it could have caused that bullet to stop. I mean, obviously it caused it to stop, but it could have prevented it from breaking all the way through that first one. Let's try it. Same exact bullet. This time we just have one lawnmower blade. Let's see if it gets all the way through. Check that out. <laughs> Straight up hole punched it. Definitely went all the way through. Looks like relatively easy. So now the goal becomes getting through all three of them stacked on top of each other. And that's what we're gonna try with some of the bigger rifles. All right, so I put the front one in the back so we have a relatively clean surface on that front lawnmower blade. Next up, the 762 by 39 out of the AK-47. Smoked it. Unfortunately, I hit that one kind of off to the side. So you know what that means. We got to redo it. All right, so I would say that is a clean hit from the 762 by 39. You can see it obviously put a dent in that front side. And then of course, nothing came out the back. It looks like it barely even bulged out the back of that first lawnmower blade. And there's the first one that was shot. So the AK did not make it all the way through. Let's try the big old 308 out of my Savage Axis bolt action rifle. I think this will probably get pretty dang close, if not go all the way through. <laughs> well, it blew them apart pretty good, that's for sure. <laughs> So first of all, look how far it threw these different lawnmower blades. So this one here is the one that we had on top and check that out. Definitely punched straight through that first lawnmower blade. Looks like this one here was the one underneath it and it did not go all the way through that one. Although it did put a pretty good dent and that second lawnmower blade. And then I would say that right there is the dent that it left on the front of that third one. So, wow. Clearly the most penetration out of all of them, but definitely did not make it all the way through. Well, while we're at it, let's go ahead and see how many rounds it takes to kill a running lawnmower. Start with the nine millimeter. <laughs> That's a lot more than I thought it would take. That's eight rounds of nine millimeter and it finally choked out. Not too bad. All right, guys, well, you all know the drill. Unfortunately, the 308 is where we're gonna have to stop because I don't have any bigger rifle calibers at the moment, but don't worry. I'm definitely gonna save all these lawnmower blades as well as the concrete that we shot the other day. Everything pretty much that we've shot that we have not been able to get all the way through, I'm saving until I get the 50 BMG, which should be sooner rather than later, hopefully. So one lawnmower blade will stop pistols. Obviously when we got up to the rifles, they kind of started going through, but when you stack all three of them together, it's pretty tough to get through those things. And these lawnmower blades are incredibly tough and incredibly durable. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Obviously just a fun one today. Sometimes I like to come out here and do this kind of stuff and these experimental videos are the ones that I have the most fun doing, if I'm being honest. So hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.